It's time to go train. I'm just a little cranky because, well, I had to take care of some work stuff. It's one o'clock almost, and I should have been there at about 12.30. Squatting time. No, 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 it's bench press time. Yeah, bench press time and then squatting time at this place. Still rough day today. I couldn't get tight enough for anything. I'm like really, really loose. I guess it's a good problem to have, but I'm super drained. I just gotta strip the weights, probably about 15%. Humble myself. I've been, I would say like a week and a half detrained. So just gotta strip the weight, get back on track, and get moving again. See if we can uh, hit the numbers for the new year. I was trying to hit a competition in the new year. I gotta get my head in the game and realize that I'm trying to do this competitively. I'm gonna go, get some food. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Okay, so back home now. And um, all cleaned up, getting ready to get some food. Casey's in the kitchen making nachos. So she's been having some She's been really wanting to eat random stuff because we eat the same stuff every day. So she's uh, whipping up some nachos, which is cheaper than going to the restaurant and getting them and also cleaner. Um, so um, the thing I wanted to say is that I can definitely notice that I would say this is these are just ballpark numbers, by the way. I would say that in the one and a half to two weeks that I haven't trained consistently, I probably lost about, let's say, 5% um, of my top working sets so it, like five percent let's say of my working set of 370 the last time i did squats so five percent every week so that's a total of ten percent so i try to knock down i think five percent for this session definitely felt it didn't even really like work through it as you saw in the past clips um and uh just need to recommit that's about it so.